Okay, so I met a few minutes ago with the nominee for the Attorney General, William Barr. I've known him for a long time when he was Attorney General and then when he was counsel to Verizon, which was a New York company. I've always respected his public service and I've always gotten along with him. Uh, I was, when he initially issued his memo, I came out against him. I thought given how President Trump has treated the Justice Department, that memo was disqualified. But I wanted to give him a chance, maybe he could undo my opposition. And our conversation focused on three issues. One that was brought up in the hearing, but two that were sort of not clear from the hearing. The first that was brought up in the hearing, I asked him would he recuse himself if the ethics officer at Justice said he should, and he said he'd make his own decision. That was clear at the hearing. But the other two I thought were much less clear. Uh, the first involves uh, the issuance of the report. He said he's for transparency. That's not good enough, especially with someone like Donald Trump, who has been, who has treated the Justice Department almost as if it's his own personal fiefdom. Trump seems to believe that the Justice Department should protect him and pursue his enemies. And so I asked him, would he unequivocally state that he would not interfere in the Mueller investigation in any way. Sorry, I'm getting the transparency in the other, okay, let me go back. First is on transparency. And I asked him, would he issue the full Mueller report with only redactions if intelligence agencies said it would compromise sources? To simply say you're for transparency doesn't say very much. So I said, you have to make, in my judgment, to merit the vote, a vote on nomination, you would have to make unequivocal and public that you would not interfere with uh, the issuance of, you would issue the full report except if intelligence sources um, said that certain portions should be redacted. He would not give that assurance. Very disappointing. The second I asked him, he said he wanted to see Mueller uh, finish his investigation through completion, indicating that he respected the Mueller and he talked about his friendship with Mueller, but that's not good enough with this president in particular. So I asked him, would he interfere with the investigation in any way? Would he make a commitment that he would not? He would not limit who Mueller would subpoena. He would not limit what witnesses were called. He would not limit what questions were asked or what areas were looked into. He would not commit to that either. So despite the fact that there were some nice words at the hearing, we do not have the kind of strong and clear commitments to the report being issued and there being no interference in the investigation that are needed, particularly now, uh, with President Trump treating the Justice Department as he has. I'll take questions on this subject first. Senator, this question, you, this, subject. this subject. Yesterday, he also mentioned that he would not change Justice Department guidelines by indicting a sitting president. One, do you think he should change those guidelines? Two, do you think a sitting president can be indicted? Well, that's a very difficult question that there are many answers to. That was not dispositive in my continued opposition to him. Do you think a sitting president can be indicted? Did, did, did you talk at all about the difference? If you saw any difference between the DOJ He did not. He did not. He seemed to want to feel, well, he, he believes in transparency. You should accept his judgment and let him make the decisions. He believes there should, the Mueller investigation should be uh, continued through the end. You should accept his judgment and not get the kind of commitment that he wouldn't interfere with specific parts of the investigation. That's not good enough when Donald Trump is president and has treated the Justice Department sort of as his sort of personal toy almost. On another topic. Finished with this uh, subject? I, I was he more clear with you than he was in the hearing yesterday about 
what it was he would support releasing. It seemed to be yesterday, no. whether it was Mueller's a document produced by Mueller or a document he produces after he reads what Mueller produces. He was not clear on what he would actually release. And to just say you're for transparency is not good enough. This subject. Do you believe that Bill Barr would at least be a better Attorney General than Matt Whitaker? I think when President, when we have a president like Trump, who has treated the Justice Department as poorly as he has, who has tried to browbeat it into doing what he wants despite rule of law, that you need somebody who reach, reaches a really high standard. And while Mueller has had a very fine career, when he refuses to commit those thing, to those things that I mentioned, he does not meet that standard. Did you get a chance to discuss the memo, why he decided to draft that memo and send it unsolicited to the Well, we touched on it, but there was lawyers. nothing new that, from what he said in the hearing. But I told him that I thought the memo alone, which might not disqualify him uh, if there was a president who had shown real integrity and respected the Justice Department with President Trump was disqualifying. And why I brought him in is to see if he could sort of reassure me on some key questions which he was unable to do. Well, you know, with the Republican-controlled Senate that won't even go after Putin, um, I don't have much faith that the Senate would change any rules. Do you see any chance of this nomination getting blocked, and do you think there will be any Democrats who will against him? I, look, I am letting all of my Democratic colleagues know my viewpoints based on my discussions with him. Um, and uh, I think the overwhelming majority of Democrats will in all likelihood oppose him, but I haven't done a whip count or anything like that. Republicans, we'll see what they do. Okay, we'll take two on other subjects. You <laughs> asked first. The Secretary of Homeland Security says that her agency, and specifically the Secret Service, is prepared to handle the State of the Union. So do you think that it should go forward as planned? Well, what is the State of the Union? The government is closed because of President Trump. If it continues to be closed on the 29th, I think it's a good idea to delay it till the government is open. Why? So uh, what about Syria, sir, and what happened there with multiple Well, Americans you know, President Trump's precipitous removal of our troops from Syria and his claim that ISIS is already beaten, we knew would not hold up. Today's tragedy shows that's just the case. Thank you, everybody.